Here's your chance to own a piece of history. That's right. This is the house and the property. I uploaded a video about this place three years ago and it's still for sale because the numerous problems that have been discussed about not only the tax base on this old house, but the septic system, and plus the house itself. Now, here, here was basically all the comments made about this place is that any good carpenter, anybody with halfway decent skills can rebuild this place. And I totally agree with you. It, it's basically, as far as I'm concerned, a condemned space. But considering these days the cost of housing and the price of just building anything is so expensive that there would be some value in trying to restore this just section by section, okay? So, again, still for sale. This is 5.19 acres. The realtor is Remax, and I will show you the sign and the phone number in a minute. The video I did of this place was three years ago and has garnered over a quarter million views on my channel. Okay? <clears throat> and you can see the condition of this place. I've owned the property next to it for eight years. And there's nothing been done to this place ever since the owner died. Now, the good, let's talk about the good. Number one, it's got plenty of road frontage. There's the main road down there. And it's got its own dedicated road. So you're not sharing this road with anybody. Plus, I'm sure in the deal, you get this old car. Okay, I'm sure that's in the deal too. The old house. And five acres. 5.19. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the majority of the land is way back there in the back. Three and a half, three and a half acres. And everything is overgrown. Just like my place. Same thing. This is the condition I found my land in when I first bought it. And I have uh, four acres next to this, okay? So, in reality, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be afraid of the land development part. Is The whole problem with this place is that house. It's all about that septic field. Now, here's the problem. What happened is, is the old owner, Cleon, who's dead now, and I've met the guy. I've actually been in his house several times. It's nothing special to look at, I promise you. I know a lot of people say, show us the inside, show us the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, look at the outside. And you can tell what the inside looks like. It's, it's bad, okay? That's all I can say. The septic field is collapsed and there's tree a tree growing through it and it's collapsed it but the problem is and this is the official word that the auxiliary leak field apparently was never permitted and 
what ended up happening it is crossed into another property which i'm assuming is over here because this is the property line coming up here okay and then it goes all the way back to the creek which is quite a quite a distance back there's a thousand feet back there and that's the back of the property but the leak field apparently because i know the leak field is not over on my land because my property is over there so i know that's not the case so it's all within here somewhere that they screwed up something something uh is just you know a foul and the county every time three or four different people have tried to buy this place and all of it's been turned down because they will not finance it because of the legal issues so that's that's the official story now i can show you this <clears throat> excuse me i got a sore throat this morning i apologize this damn weather has given me normally don't get sinusitis but i've got some damn sinusitis right now i apologize if my voice is on fun coughing and hacking a little bit but anyway there's your uh there's your sign okay and this is uh there it is there's your official mailbox number to that house so there's your road there's the house. Got two about 238 foot of road frontage. And I will say this, there's a lot of big oak trees. There's a lot of big trees on this property because it was never, ever, uh, ever harvested uh, in 100 years. So there's some really, really huge timber in the very back of this uh, property. Okay, this is still, still part of the road frontage here. Okay. And there you go that's it so right up to my fence up there then it cuts back in then it goes all the way back to the creek okay so it's got a that kind of a shape on this side because that's exactly how my property is cuts all the way in the back my back of the compound the fence lines right back over here It's a fairly little busy road. Okay, now here's the here's the backstory. One family owned all this land, all the way all the way to the other county, and they owned everything, and all the way down to the bridge down there. Okay, now the sister still owns 16 acres that way, and a brother. This five acres here was Cleon's. This was Ron's. That 28 acres over there was Ron and Patty's. They're all part of the same family. Now, the big thing was when that 28 acres over there went up for sale, when I looked at it, it went cheap, 125,000. But I'll tell you where the problem was, is this road and their road frontage on this 28 acres. I have more road frontage on my four acres than my neighbors. Let's just put it that way. Look at the, this, is, this is my four acres. This is a better, a better view of it. Okay, look at that. From that corner right over there,
all the way to half that road. That's the, that's my four acres, and the two uh, the the front is two acres. The compound is not quite an acre, and then I've got the rest the one point like one point seven five in the back. Okay, a total four. So that's that's the story there. Now, when you come up here, here was the other problem. And this property over here went real cheap. It, it sold for 65000 with a brick house on it and a pond. Of course, I was up here yesterday uh, doing a lot of weed eating, so... It looks real trimmed. But this is the problem here. This 28 acres, there's 10 acre uh, that was farm soybean field, okay? And the other 18 is all the way in the back. But that's the road frontage, that's it. You don't have very much. It's like, a, it's like about 110 feet, it's not much. Where I've got 235 feet of road frontage but we share this road. Now this is Orange County and we're right on the Alamance County line. Alamance County is right there, okay? So that, this was all one family that owned this. Ron and Patty sold this over here for 125. That's 28.8 acres. They sold me this four acres for $10,000. And that five acres over there is going for $70,000. So you can see that there's somewhat of a, an issue with the, the value the value versus the house having a problem, the septic field having a problem, and the age, the neglect, and the amount of money it would take to uh, get a forest guy to go over there, cut it all down initially so you can see what in the world you're working with. That's number one. And then, uh, you know, if you wanted to renovate a house, it's great because if you renovate it, guess what's going to happen? There's going to be a reassessment of the property taxes to the value of the house. But you're lucky up to one point is because right now the house is worth 28000 on the books. At least that's where they got it valued at, and everybody knows it's really a big zero. Uh, there's no value to the house. Uh, even the bank, the county, you know, they, they all know it. The, the, the house, because of the septic field, it is worthless. So, in my opinion, the septic field, the house, and everything needs to be just tore out and burned to the ground and thrown away and then re uh, petition the county to lower or take the $28,000 off the books. So then you're bringing the property more in line with what the true value of a, a real acreage out here is, and that's about $7,500 an acre. Between seventy-five and eighty-five hundred bucks an acre is what uh, farmland is going for. And remember, what's what is good about it? Here's the good: it is rated F R U. Okay, farm residential unrestricted. I'm farm residential unrestricted. That land is farm residential unrestricted. So you can have farm animals build all this infrastructure like I have, and it costs you nothing. It really costs you nothing. Because remember, my property taxes up here, my property taxes on my four acres is only $400 a year. Now the reason why that is, and you guys should all know this, I'm off grid. They, the county knows I'm off grid. There's no, I'm not hooked up to anything out here, okay? I bring in everything I want. I bring in everything I need. 
And if I want to run this place, I run it on generator and pretty much do it the way I want to do it and only get tax on the assessed value of just the land itself, okay? Which I showed you also uh, how they grade land like this. Mine's considered a negative three, okay? Which is actually what they call poor quality. Now, yes, I've already cleaned it up and everything like that, but it never changed the rating. That rating will stay the same. Not until I build, then everything changes. Do you not get that? Then everything changes. So that's why I'm fighting so hard to keep the tax, the rating, and the status of this land exactly like I got it from day one. So I don't get this exorbitant overvaluation of the land like what's going on over there <laughs> okay do you get that that's why i'm so anal about this situation out here because i understand the bottom line of what and how it will affect property value and orange county is very high tax base when it comes to land don't kid yourself it's just the same as wake county but you can see all mine is farm, pole barn, you know, shed. Nothing is permanent foundation, you know? I got a couple of posts in concrete, don't mean nothing, okay? It's not permanent foundation. Uh, there's no slabs out here, so I can get away with it. And you can burn. You can hunt. On my own land, I can hunt the deer off my land any time of the year when it's in deer season, okay? I have the rights to hunt my own land without a license during deer season, okay? No one can stop me. That's the beauty of owning farmland. And I've also to state regulations and all kinds of other things. Well, you know what's beautiful about this? We're not California here. We're not New York, you know? We still have a lot of freedoms in this state. North Carolina, like Texas, you know, we're some of the most conservative, but yet, you know, uh, citizens' rights are very, very important here. And uh, that's, that's another big issue, uh, is your, your, your freedom to do what you want with your own land without a bunch of regulation. I can collect water. No one can stop me. It's not under any rules. When you're a farm, that's the big thing. When you're a farm, you can do so much. And, you know, that's, that's the beauty of this type of rating. And, and, and I'm going to warn you. I'm going to warn you. And this is true. This is in the news. The federal government and each state local governments are trying to stop overseas investors like China from buying farmland. What do you think they're trying to buy it for? For all the same reasons I just mentioned. You know, they don't want, they don't want foreigners, foreign corporations buying up farmland and they're buying it by the tens of thousands of acres. And don't, don't kid yourself folks, one day there's not gonna be any farmland left. And everybody's going to be scratching her head wondering what the hell. See? So having, like I said, this place only went for 125,000. 28.8 acres. And that's another track of land up there for sale. But that they, they're, not, they're not letting go of that. Let me, I'm just telling you, the owners are not letting go. I know what the reason is over there. That's been put under a trust. And there's a lot of land over there, but they logged, they logged all that. So you're not gonna find a lot of really, 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 really big stuff over there, but it has been uh, 10 years since they logged it. So some of the canopy is coming back. You can actually see the canopy, see it? Now look behind it. That's the canopy coming back after uh, 10 years. 
Now I know you can see it. See it? That's the canopy. And this is the, the lower part here is on this, this, is this part of the property. And the taller trees are, is the other property. Okay. So there you go. All right. That video I did of that house three years ago, like I say, it went viral. And people today are still watching that video and still asking me, is it still available? My God, I feel like I'm on Facebook. Is that still available? <laughs> hey, Tom, is that available? Yes, it is available. Call the freaking number. <laughs> Figure it out. You know, if you want it, the best way to buy this, and I'm going to be honest with you, is cash. That's the only way you're going to walk into that property. There's no bank financing available for that. That's what the problem has been all this time. Between the bank and the city or the county, they're not going to let anybody finance that. It's too much of a risk for everybody, and everybody knows it. So that's why I keep sitting. And I got to call into the agent myself. You know, if one of you guys out there, and I know there's a friend of mine up in Canada, he's trying to convert all his Canadian dollars into American dollars, wants to come down and try to buy this place. But you need, like I said, if you're trying to do it on your own, you need 70 grand plus whatever else is involved. But 70 grand is pretty much the number. Call that agent and they'll give you a lowdown. But let me get out of here. Talk to you tonight.